同じことの繰り返し。The Sea Killer Story. When Death Note came out, it was revolutionary. The feeling its story gave has not been replicated in the same way since, and it is with the idea of not being replicated that inspired Sea Killer. When Death Note ended, that was it. Having consistently stayed in the top 10 weekly Shonen Jump rankings for the majority of its run, Death Note officially concluded in May of 2006. There would go on to be multiple adaptions, parodies, live action films that feel like parodies, but a couple of years later, in 2008, Oba and Obata would return for a single bonus chapter, often referred to as Chapter 109 or The Sea Killer Story. This is a story which takes place after nine years since L had died, and it had been three years since Light was caught as Kira. And he was since killed by the Shinigami Ryuk. Both of their deaths were not made public, and by solving the case, that only L would be able to near continued L's legacy. And he portrayed himself as L, and he continued his existence. Kira had been killed. No, he's just taking a break while those kind of rumors continued. However, this time a new Death Note user had emerged in the manga. We don't get to hear what his name is, and we don't get to see who this Death Note user is. For the first time, Japan had fallen from number one to number six in life expectancy. Before Japan lost its place as number one, there were those who predicted the rebirth of Kira. They were not those who prayed for the return of Kira, the so-called followers of Kira, nor was it near the current L. But they were the people on the internet. A few days after these conversations began, many began to believe in the rebirth of Kira. This time, it was the Kira who killed, causing an end to the suffering of the elderly people who were near the brink of death. On the internet, with uploaded pictures of elderly begging for their own death, entire families begging for it, the number of people. Imploring Kira for death to come, and these wishes they began to overflow. Now, soon after all these events and all these deaths, news channels they soon began to cover up things like all the people that were killed were about the age of 65, and they had worsening medical condition. None of them had heart attacks, but the result shows that their heart stopped. They questioned, "Is this really the work of Kira?" On the next panel, we see some familiar faces. It's Mitsuda and his team watching the news. Mitsuda says, "Using the murder novel, you would even be able to kill illness, huh?" To which his subordinates reply, "A coincidence, Kira." Mitsuda is shown to be blaming Light. He thinks he might have changed the notes and given it to someone else, probably. He also blames Near for not checking to see if the death note was real or not, the one that they buried. To which the other officer replied, "It hasn't been decided yet if this is really the work of a death note. Besides, a Shinigami might also have brought a new death note into the real world." Another police officer, he just cannot still believe the concept of Shinigami and death note. 
In any case, why are you still here anyway, Yamato? To which he says, why the hell not? Well, I guess it's alright then. If this is the work of a death note, then there's no mistake that the person using them is Japanese due to the statistics of Japanese life, expectancy being so low. Matsuda thinks that it is a good thing since all the aging population would be dead, which would decline birth rate and the pension problems would all now be solved. Mr. Matsuda, please stop talking like people dying is a good thing. Yamoto is right, said the two officers to the commands of Mitsuda. Sorry, says Mitsuda. Still, I know it's probably wrong, but let me say one thing. Again? Even though the previous Kira was an evil person, it was easy to determine he was a murderer since he killed people who didn't want it to die. However, this time, if you think of them as poor, sick, elderly who are waiting for death and are actually forcefully being kept alive, to which the officer who gets angry responds. Are you trying to say that even if it was Kira, that his sins would be lighter this time? Don't tell me you think this is a good thing. To which Matsuda just says, well I did say it's probably wrong. Still, if it turns out there are death notes, it might seem like a good thing for Nier, I mean L, to come out and say something. So it looks like the police department is really excited for Nier versus the new Kira. And they want some intels on what's happening and what's going on. On the next scene, two agents are shown to be coming to Nier. What is it now, the two of you together showing up all of a sudden? To which the agent responded, you already know what's happening in Japan, right? To which Nier said, I know, but right now, more important than that, if you knock over my Tarto card tower, I'll be really pissed. To which the agent says, Nier, please listen, no matter how we think about it, it's gonna be death notes. Nier knows that that's 100% certain. Then why aren't you doing anything? To which Nier said, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of what L would do. I see, that's a relief. However, this Kira won't fall for the same bait L used last time. On top of that, figuring out this Kira who is using only sick people will be more difficult. To which Nier responds, please stop calling him Kira. It's insulting to L and to Kira. It just goes to show us the amount of respect that Nier has for L and for Light Yagami, who was Kira. But this scene also shows us that somehow Nier just doesn't respect this guy, this new Kira, who has been killing old people. See, Kira was replicating Kira, and Nier was replicating L, or at least actively trying to. The reason Nier hadn't acted on this new Kira is because, well, that's his number one downfall trait, is that he doesn't act on things, but he was mainly pondering on what L would do in a situation like this. As he is the new L, he has to come up with that answer, but he wants to remain as faithful to his idol as he possibly can. A flashback ensues that confirms and is incredibly revealing as to the nature of L that we went through earlier, and a lot of that introspection comes from this chapter and self-admission from L to his future successes. L had introduced himself through his natural laptop style to all the children of Waimi's house on one occasion. It is here where he confirms that he is not a detective because of justice, but because it is more interesting and fun. L directly states, solving cases is my hobby. That's why I only take up cases that personally interest me. It is not about justice, and in order to solve a case, I will do anything. I am a cheater who hates to lose. This being among the most candid L had been in relation to his actual mental state, also is what allows him to pick out Nier and Mello as the only current potential successes, as after hearing the open and honest L, a lot of the children at Wami's house actually lost respect for him, but Nier did not, and liked those answers so much that L became his idol and ultimate goal in life. 
This being the only interaction El had with the Wamiz house orphans, he had decided that if anyone in that room at the time were to be his successor, it would either be Nier or Mello, as they had been the only kids not to ask a single question and had an unpleasant look in their eye, which was something that he could relate back to himself. Nier would grow up to become the new El, but still asking the question, what would El do? This respect is even further symbolized by Nier's stack of cards being completed in the shape of a giant letter L once he fully understands L's mindset about how he would approach this new kidder. Nier hadn't acted on this new kidder because he was thinking, what would L do? He had such a profound respect for L that he will not act out of place even from 9 years after he had died. At the end of Death Note, Matsuda has a theory that Nier had actually cheated by using the Death Note he had in his possession to control Mikumi's actions before death, and did not actually outsmart his way to a victory in a fair way against Light. L had also stated prior that he would go as far to cheat to solve a case, and that's something that Nier might have taken into consideration. This idea of Nier cheating did have some legs for a while, as not only had it been pointed out in the absolute final chapter, Obata himself had stated in a guide that Nier cheats, seemingly confirming it to be true, in that Nier had actually used the Death Note to ultimately defeat Light and win the game. This was ultimately debunked, as you cannot manipulate someone with Shinigami eyes with the Death Note, and Nier never finds his misfortune. This closing statement from Matuda is not how Nier won. The rivalry between L and Kira is heightened to a global scale. The world becomes aware of this battle and it is made known to everyone that this is something that requires absolute attention and consequence, which is fair. However, this rivalry boosts the already huge ego of Light and only confirms to him the battle of God versus the world's smartest mind. L states many times that he would be willing to give up his own life to solve the Kira case. This only glorifies and idealizes him in the minds of the public and results in a lot of the characters we see in the second half of the story, including Mikami, Takada, and all of the other unnamed Kira worshippers. A bit of it was because of L. And so now that there was a new Kira on the scene years after the death of Light, how would Nier go about handling it? Well, by basically calling the rivalry between Light and L special, and whoever this Kira is, is less than the original. The C in this Kira stands for Cheap Kira. C Kira had become a vacuum to not only the sick and elderly people wanting a peaceful end to their life, but literally everyone. Hordes of people are jumping over each other to get a peaceful suicide. It is one of the darkest scenes in any Death Note related material, and as you see dozens of people collapse at the request of their own suicide, C Kidder had officially announced his presence to the world, in the same way Light did when he killed Lindell Taylor. This time, however, Nier, under the name of L, appears on broadcast to make a statement. After completing this insane memento to L, Nier had uncovered what the original L would have done in this situation and decides that C Kira was just a killer without a purpose, and as such labels him Cheap Kira. He had zero interest in this criminal and will not undergo an investigation in a case he has no interest in, which is exactly what L would have said. This completely destroys the mental side of C Kira. After hearing this from what he thought to be L, it is said that his face just turns completely white and then he began staring at a wall for three days. Then, all of a sudden, he just started screaming and just like all of his victims, he writes his own name in the death note and commits suicide. Returning Midora back to the Shinigami world, upset that she couldn't replicate the fun that Ryuk had found. It takes a strong mind to use the Death Note. A human must endure emotions to a godlike level to simply be able to not go insane. Midra took control of a weak-willed human being, showcasing once again the uniqueness of Light Yagami. And so, for 12 years, that was all of Death Note. Every piece of the manga, the timeline, and the story of what would happen if a bored high school slash college student gained godlike power. After the Sea Kidder story and bonus chapter for Death Note, there would be an equivalent real-world time skip of over a decade until another human would receive the Death Note. 
During this time, the franchise would go on to inspire live-action films, TV adaptations, musicals, and a total of three officially licensed video games that released on the Nintendo DS from 2007 to 2008. Death Note Kidder Game, Death Note Successes to L, and L the Prologue to Death Note. These were actually pretty fun games, where you could take on the role of L or Kidder and try to deduce for yourself who Kidder is or who L is depending on who you decide to be. It's a shame these games never saw an English release. Death Note generally would be hard to replicate in all adaptations outside the anime and manga, video games included. Uh, Light did appear in Jump Force and various other Jump titles as more of a support character. However, unofficially, in 2018, the world would receive the Death Note game that is the most Death Note-like experience to date, a spiritual successor called Among Us. Personally, I think the only way to do a Death Note game justice would be to do a narratively driven, telltale-style choose-your-own-adventure where your actions impact the outcome of the story-type game. As for the live adaptation of Death Note in 2017, it's not even something worth talking about. Something I'm scared of. I suppose. Monsters. There are many types of monsters in this world. Monsters who will not show themselves and who cause trouble. Monsters who abduct children. Monsters who devour dreams. Monsters who suck blood. And monsters who always tell lies. Lying monsters are a real nuisance. They are much more cunning than other monsters. They pose as humans, even though they have no understanding of a human heart. They eat, even though they've never experienced hunger. They study, even though they have no interest in academics. They seek friendship, even though they do not know how to love. If I were to encounter such a monster, I would likely be eaten by it. Because in truth, I am that monster. <laughs> 